Hello everyone, I'm Toriel. I've never done this before, so... Today I'm going to talk to you about my dreadlock journey. And I bet you're saying, what? She has dreadlocks? Because it doesn't look like it. I am in my first month of dreadlocks. I can include uh, pictures, so a picture from my first day when I first made my whole head dreadlocks. That might be the most embarrassing picture of my life. That was November 3rd. And December 3rd was my one month anniversary with these. And now what is it? December December 7th. I'd like to show you what they look like and I can start seeing the progression. And I will also show you how to go about how I went about making my own dreads. You wanna see them? Yes, this is, um, that's what I got. All right, so here's a little closer up using window light, so hopefully it makes it better. I just don't want to sit here because my bed is an air mattress and it's really squeaky. So if you hear awkward random squeaks, that's what it is. So I started out making two dreads in my hair just because I was bored and I wanted to see what it was like. Then one day I like made three more and then the next thing I know I counted 33 on my head. Like I don't even know how this happened but it happened. I used the twist and rip method which I hear from my abundance research. It is the least damaging to your hair actually even though it sounds pretty violent. It's okay. So the twist and rip, and then I also used back combing, a combination of twist and rip and back combing. Um, this, yeah, don't use this kind of a comb because that is what happens. I'm too lazy to manually focus that. My dreads are falling out all the time, like I make them and then they just fall out. To show you how to make a dread, how about this? We'll just do this because like, can't seem to find any at the moment. So here's my hair, I want to dread. What I would normally do is I take my broken comb and I start back combing just to get it a little teased up. Um, and then I do the twist and rip. So you twist, split it in half and rip it up. Just twist it somehow, rip up, twist, Split in half. Rip. <laughs> Kill your head. My skin is so white that uh, it's a good backdrop for you to see this hair. I don't have a, much of a science to it. Mine are usually really sloppy. There's that. And often the little ends, the little end I can never do anything with. But I like that because it gives a more natural look. Um, and I also like back comb a little bit. I want it to look more natural. So I, I had bangs and I left them because I want to grow them out and have it be more natural so I can go like whoo and be like whoo. That's the goal. Put it in and just pull it up so as to tighten my dread. And then sometimes on the end, I will do twist and rip on the bottoms to just kind of like tie it together. Woo! This is what's happening right now. If you have any questions um, or anything you want to know, I want to be starting to vlog. So let me know what you'd like a video about and or if you have any tips for me with my hair. Peace out. Tori out.